His Majesty, the King, Tahrka, did this as he greatly loved his father, Amun-Ra, Lord of Napata, because he knew that he, the King, was favored in his heart, the Swift One, who comes to him, who calls upon him from the omen which he made for his mother in the womb before she gave birth. His mother's mother was assigned to him by her older brother, the son of Ra, Alara, true of voice saying, O oh, beneficent God, the swift one who comes to him, who calls upon him, may you look after my sister, wife for me, born with me from one womb. You acted for her as he did for him who acted for you, as an omen, unpremeditated, and not disregarded by reflective people. May you put a stop to him that plotted evil against me after you raised me as king. May you act for my sister likewise as you honored her children in this land. May you let him obtain prosperity and appearances as king as you did for me. He listened to all that he said. He did not turn his ear. From his words. He appointed for him his son, his double, the son of Ra, Taharaka. May he live forever as king, to commemorate his name, embellish his monuments, to maintain his statues, to inscribe his names on the temple, to call out the names of his foremothers, to establish funerary orphans for them, to give them numerous funerary priests, rich in all things. May he be granted all life like Ra forever.